In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the successful conversion of a Tyco Jam car to the Aurora AFX Speedster system. Now, if you're unfamiliar with slotless racing, the purpose of the Jam car was to prevent an obstacle that the driver had to go around. It drove slower and uh, generally stayed in the same lane. With the Aurora system, it changed lanes. And so there's some major differences between the two. So I'll do a quick demonstration. With the Aurora road blocker, the computer chip there in the center told the wheels when to randomly turn left or right. So it would be constantly changing lanes. In addition, like all Aurora's magnet traction system, they had magnets that surrounded the armature that helped it stay on to the track. Tyco's system was quite different. It had this little metal paperclip like piece that attached itself to a groove on the inside rail of the track, keeping it there. Well, Aurora doesn't have that, and so this little paperclip piece was rather useless. So I had to figure out another way. So I attached a rare earth magnet to the bottom of the chassis, and that solved that problem. The second thing is, is it wouldn't stay on track. And so like the ideal uh, jam cars, I made these free wheels free spinning wheels which had been straight I drilled a hole in at an angle and then using an Aurora hub used a press fit into that hole and voila now the wheels are affixed to the right so now I will demonstrate how this car goes around the track Take a, an Aurora slotless, or slotless car. And that's it for the demonstration.